Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot scopes. Um, the way I do these readings is first I draw <clears throat> I draw three cards for the whole week. The first being the main opportunity, the second being the main challenge, and the third being the overall advice. I also draw a fourth card, which is a Zen message um, that really is about um, bringing to conscious consciousness unconscious uh, an unconscious message that may uh, bind together with all the other more mundane daily um, energies that you were feeling this week so Libra this week you may be um, ending you may be in a turning point in your life where things are ending so it can um, begin a new chapter in your life and of course when we are facing endings uh, many times we feel lost we feel defeated we feel scared and we feel anxious because we don't know what's in the other side waiting for us so this week really you need to uh, realize that you are coming into, into a point of regeneration of transformation of something in your life and whichever area of your life you may feel like is dying, like it's going away from you, just let it. Because it's not, nothing really dies, it just transforms and regenerates. And it, it, the energy comes back to you in a much more um, higher state, in a much more, um, in a way that, that allows you much more growth in whatever is going on in your life uh, in which this is happening so the first uh, card as a main opportunity you have the ten of swords and again the ten always talk about it always talks about the culmination point and uh, real realization and ending of a cycle and the ten of swords is a scary card for many people but really talks about um, the need to change and sometimes only when things get to a point of exhaustion of no longer being able to feel worse to feel more depressed to feel more sad than we already are is that we realize that we really need to change and that we really need to face our own behavior behavior patterns that are brought us to this uh, state that brought us into this uh, sense of uh, defeat and not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But actually, what this card can is a more, the most positive message in this card is actually that the light, the enlightenment that this process can bring you. So maybe it was maybe something was no longer working into your life. And this week you really realize that th that that thing is over. And when we th and that can sometimes work as a reality check. We are faced with things we were holding. Uh, that ten swords represents um, ten uh, ways of doing things. Uh, ten uh, thought processes that undermine our own value and happiness in life. And this week, the main opportunity is, is for you to become enlightenment into a turning point in your life and to become a much more aware of uh, your thought process and how that might um, get in, into the, in the way of bringing the happiness you are seeking and it may seem like it's not there. But it's not there yet, because if this is happening, it's because you are learning some kind of lesson within yourself. So again, the main opportunity is to go within, to try to avoid the feeling of uh, being a victim of life circumstances, because I know, I know it's not an easy process when we, uh, when we come to the end of the cycle. And we are really scared because we don't know what's in the other side. We feel like we'll be stuck in this um, um, energy and this feeling forever. But believe me, you will not. And the more you become aware of yourself and analyze the situation into a light 
of consciousness, of truth, of um, acknowledging the things you did wrong, the things you, you could have done better. So the next stage of your life is much more in alignment with the happiness you want to bring into your life because you do and you have the ten of cups as a main uh, challenge so the main challenge is not be being able to reach that emotional contentment that feeling of having it all in the emotional sense in a relationship in a family in whichever area of your life that you are emotional connected right now and that it's not going well so as a main challenge is feeling really this instability vibe uh this fear of things uh, of losing control of things of not being able to just feel good about yourself and about your life and content and of course this this is connected with the Ten of Swords, it's two tens. You are uh, ending a cycle here. So you can begin a new one. You can build a new one in solid foundations where this foundation was not solid and that's why it's challenged and that's why it's something is uh, needing to end and to die and to transform. So, um, Whichever, again, whichever area this is happening, just know that this, the foundation was not solid. So, of course, you are feeling really a lot of instability and a lot of fear of disruption, uh, maybe within your home, maybe within your relationship, within anything you are emotionally connected with. But um, uh, if, the if the foundation was not solid, not solid, sooner or later, uh, this would be happening in a much more, even in a much more, uh, maybe uh, uh, harder way. So again, uh, take advantage of this. Don't see it as such a negative thing. See it as a positive, like a chance to build uh, a much more stronger foundation into uh, whatever you are trying to achieve. In um, achieving this sense of contentment, from the inside out and not just uh, maybe projecting too much secure, emotional security into attachments of the outer world. The advice is the queen of wands. So again, the advice is to uh, still be in your domain, still hold that power, that confidence, that glow, that no matter what, no matter what, things will be okay. That no matter what, you will be, um, you will be stronger, you will be wiser, you will be better, uh, with this whole process going on. That you will be in your domain. You are not afraid of your feminine, your, your feminine power. You're not afraid of the, maybe the, the more unconscious, darker things that are going on with you. You hold together. And you are able to bring that into light, into um, spirit, because wands is spirit, is fire. So this process is, um, is, um, is not easy, but at the same time, the advice is telling you that you can do it in a very um, strong, mature way with this queen. So... The advice is just to um, be confident, have self-confidence that you are facing a challenge, but that challenge will bring you much more realization, power of creation um, into yourself to create the reality that you want. Again, to create that emotional security that you are so much you are so desperately seeking into your life and you will do it but first you need to end the chapter that was no longer uh, allowing space for this to happen but again the advice is to keep strong this queen is a really strong queen she's really confident she's really generous and she doesn't fall uh, into depression she does things she knows what it needs to be done 
So Libra, again, it's a, a week with a lot of things going on in your uh, mental state and emotional state and you are feeling unstable, but be aware that you hold the power to go through this process and to come out of it really stronger. Um, the Zen message is projection. And as you can see in the card, this couple is projection, projecting their own insecurities, fears, um, illusions to each other. So maybe this has connection to a relationship. Maybe this thing that is going on is um, connected with a, a relationship with someone where you really were just you and your partner with maybe really just projecting a lot. A lot of your insecurities, a lot of your traumas, a lot of things uh, that you are not working inside of yourselves. And so you are projecting and creating a lot of instability and creating a lot of hard things to deal with within a relationship. Because when we project and if we are not able to acknowledge that we are projection and that the other person is a reflection of ourselves, uh, this creates the majority of problems that uh, relationships face. But even if it's not a relationship um, uh, with anyone, it's your relationship with yourself and with the world. So you may feel that the world is against you and you are projection, projecting that into the world. And the world is responding in the same way. So the message, uh, the Zen message, is to be aware of the illusions uh, and the, the clarity that when you look into the mirror, uh, when you see relationships in whichever way as a mirror of yourself, that you become much more aware of unconscious uh, patterns and behaviors that may attract some kind of situations into your life that don't give you the growth and an opportunity for growth and emotional balance that you really need to really bring into your life. And actually, I associate this card a lot with the Libra archetype. So Libra, you are very smart in realizing um, and realizing the, the, the patterns and the motivations of other people. So just bring that innate quality of knowing into yourself and knowing things you are projecting outside and so that you are attracting into your life. They really need to redefine and refocus so it can come to a state where you um, come to a Come to a point of consciousness about your own behaviors and so you are able to change it and to allow space for the stability, emotional stability you are looking for. So I hope you like your reading. I hope you have a great week. Thank you for listening and we'll see each other in the next video.